Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Sound and Light. My name is JC Bittens. Today we're going to talk about Sennheiser Evolution Wireless and the Wireless System Manager software. Now there's a lot of wireless out there and it all works pretty good standalone, especially the Sennheiser stuff. But when you start getting into more challenging situations or a lot of channels, it's a good idea to be able to use some software. The Wireless System Manager software works on both Mac or PC. Just select the correct one off of the Sennheiser website and download it. It works on both our in-ears and our wireless, starting at the Evolution 300 series going on up. So that's the 300, the 500 series, the 2000 series, the 3000 series, and 5000 series. So your 300 series wireless, right out of the box, comes with either a handheld or body pack transmitter with a lavalier, a cable for instrument, or a headset for head worn comes with your receiver, a power cable, and your antennas. Mic clip if needed. But on the back of your wireless, you will see an RJ45 jack. What you need is a standard Ethernet cable. Plug it into your computer. OK, on your Mac or PC. Go ahead and open your WSM software. And in this case, generally, you'll see suddenly your wireless appear in your inventory over here. Now, there's some choices that you can go ahead and do right off the bat. Uh, it opens up to this nice blue background. I'm going to go ahead and put it to the night mode. So it's the dark background. I kind of like black. And you can either show the grid or not show the grid depending what you like to do, and auto arrange. But in your screen, you're going to see the name of the wireless that you have hooked on here uh, through the Ethernet cable. Now, if you're using more than one channel, you'll need to use a switch. Please refer to the diagram that you'll now see. That schematic shows you how to hook up multiple channels. And this is a huge benefit that saves you first time and then also any embarrassment of getting a channel that's not working so well because this will scan all the open frequencies and drop the correct working frequencies into your wireless so that you efficiently have a working wireless rig. But the first thing we'll look at here is it'll let you know a green light of which antenna currently is transmitting to your body pack or handheld. This will tell you your RF strength on both of those antennas. You'll see your battery telemetry right there. There's a three level set setting right there. And then finally, your RF, or I'm sorry, your AF of how much audio you have coming in. Check one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Click on it, and you'll see a screen open. This screen tells you the, the value of that wireless system. So first, in this first column, you can go ahead and change the name, your bank that you're in, what channel you're on, what frequency you're on. Uh, you can even change your AF out. There's a built-in EQ as well that's got a high boost, low cut and high boost, and a low cut, or just run flat. This is really nice if you're plugging your wireless into a straight DSP unit for an install that may have limited EQing in it. One of the features, as we talked about in one of our other videos, is RX mute, meaning that mutes the RF, and you can fire up your wireless, fire up your handheld, see what channel it's on, but it's not broadcasting, so you're not stepping on the toes of anyone else's wireless. Uh, you can lock the handheld so nobody can adjust any of the buttons or settings on the handheld. Uh, your low battery warning, you can turn it on and off. You really can dig in under the hood, and this is many of the things that you need to know or be aware of when running your wireless. So we can go down and look at all the screens and make any of the changes as we want. And then the final thing is hit apply. So the next time we sync this handheld over to the receiver, all that information, the name or any of the other preset changes are dropped onto here. Going across the menus, there's several other things that you can do. 
You can save your configuration of many channels of wireless. For example, if you're doing shows at different venues, but you know you're going to come back to that venue, and you want to be able to configure your wireless to work again, uh, just as you had it last time. Um, the scenes, there's different scenes that you can select through. Uh, remote access is, uh, there's an opportunity to check that box there. And to do that, you go through preferences. And you'll see that right now the box for single remote machine is checked. But if we had multiple units, you'd see that option available. And you can have the uh, remote access be exclusive just for this instance, shared access as necessary, or hand over WSM grants uh, permanent access to a remote uh, control of this. And so basically, it's password connect, con uh, connected uh, to lock someone out from being able to change your wireless if they're on your network somehow. But you also make a, a password as well. So this gives you the ability to go ahead and look at what your wireless receivers are doing uh, from a remote station. Uh, going through the software over here, obviously there's a few different languages. Uh, today we've selected English. Um, and there's different icons you can also pick from. Uh, for example, right here, guitar. If, if I had a guitar uh, transmitter right there, I could put the picture of a guitar that shows right up there. Um, I can do different colors, uh, make the panel um, red on the edge, OK? And really dress this thing up to customize it the way that I'd like to do it. Um, but the big thing is some of the applications. And what first we're going to do is do a RF level record. Down here, we see red for antenna 1, green for antenna 2. Here's our squelch setting and muted. We go ahead over to this column over here, and if there are multiple channels of wireless in this drop-down menu, they would, pick, they, would, they would appear. In this case, since we have one, only one shows up. But you would select which frequency or frequency group you want to scan, what time you want it to scan. This is a great thing to do because if you have a show that always happens at 7 o'clock at night, and you're in at noon, who knows what happens at night? Maybe there's a guy with a ham radio around the block or someone else setting up wireless in a different theater or school auditorium. So you can set this up to get an idea of what the wireless footprint will be at the time your event may happen. Uh, the duration of the scan, you can set it up to 24 hours, up to a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, record right now. And what you'll see is Right now, everything's on antenna 1. I'm sorry, antenna 1 and antenna 2 right at the very top level because there's really no issues. Uh, I believe if I walk around here and start disconnecting antennas, we should be able to see possibly some trouble. There you go. I've disconnected both the antennas. And you can see when I touch it, because again, us humans, a big pile of water, affect RF. The other thing that's great to do with this is if you're uh, doing an install, do an RF scan, and suddenly you see both lines at the very top, and all of a sudden one drop off, and you notice someone else is up in the ceiling working, maybe they cut your B and C cable. And that's why you don't see your antenna, too. So here we have a nice footprint of what's going on with our wireless atmosphere at this time. And you'll notice we started with antenna. Uh, one, we jump to antenna two. Here's our squelch level, nicely set out of the box. And we had some sort of RF interference right there. Well, that was me messing with it. Uh, but if you're in a challenging environment, you would see a whole bunch of different lines. And might be a good idea to do a frequency scan and try a different channel. OK, I'm not going to save these changes. The next thing we're going to look at then is going to be the uh, frequency spectrum analyzer. Again, you have the box with a drop-down menu here to pick what channel of wireless you wish to use. Pick your frequency. You can go a, a range, preset, or TV channels. Again, pick a time. Over here is green is free. Green is good. Red, occupied. Red is bad. And yellow, you'll see our squelch line. So I'm going to go ahead and hit record and take a look and see 
what's going to happen now this will change the frequencies you'll see on the front of the unit uh, your wireless will not be able to operate during this uh, so generally this is something you don't do in the middle of a show or right before a show uh, do it with some headroom so you can reset your channels if need be so we are recording and we are getting a footprint of some RF activity here and I'm going to go ahead and shut my mic off for a second to see if that affects anything because this handheld transmitter is broadcasting uh, I don't know if you can see the screen over here too but it's going through uh, this is this receiver is uh, going from 626 up to uh, 668 and as we talked about a moment ago red bad green is good but this is our B range and so in this environment today we're seeing a big spike right there that's probably some sort of uh, uh, TV station uh, we're just on the edge of it uh, definitely these big blips here I'm sorry that's not a TV station these big blips are a TV station uh, that actually probably is this wireless channel that I turned off shortly after uh, we started the scan but you'll notice we have open frequencies here between uh, 656 with a little spike there up to 668. So this environment is pretty challenged right now so we need to put everybody over here. Well this is where the meat and potatoes of the software comes in. I'm not going to save any of my changes. Um, oops, look I changed the colors. Uh, we're having low RF and you can see I've got all kinds of meters coming up to let me know I'm in trouble. We're going to go ahead and do our fre frequency spectrum uh, uh, manager and this basically takes some of the guesswork out of picking what frequency group I need to use for my wireless. So we have two choices easy setup professional setup. Uh, the easy setup checks the preset frequencies uh, in a selected frequency band that uh, allows you to get your wireless to work together and quite frankly I'd recommend go with the easy. Um, so we're going to hit easy. We need to then pick, is it a wireless monitoring system or a wireless microphone? Oh, this is a wireless microphone. Let's pick that. Go to next. Now, if we had multiple uh, wireless channels hanging off of that switch, that would show up in this inventory. Now, again, I think I mentioned this at the very, very beginning. The key with the Sennheiser Wireless System Manager is, number one, you can use wired microphones and in the ears all hanging off the software unlike our competitors number two anything from our 300 series up you can plug into this so you'll see possibly a 300 series a couple channels of that a couple 2000 series uh, maybe even a 5000 series if that's the rental or the rig that you have going in your facility or on your show today so it's really nice everything's under one roof so here we're going to go ahead and hit next we can do a preset scan or continue without scan. So we're going to do a preset scan and it's in progress. Now you'll see the menu on here again. I don't know if you can see that. It, go ahead, it goes ahead and changes to the setting where you see it walking through each of the frequencies. Now again, I don't know if I mentioned this, but it's a clear point to know. All the software is also just in this unit. If you really needed to just set up and use your wireless, and go channel by channel without doing this, the, the computer hooked into it. Uh, this as a standalone unit will do all this. You just basically turn this on, do a scan, find a good channel, then turn on your next set of wireless, do a scan, pick a channel and keep going and then turn on and sync your handheld or body pack transmitters after that. But we're almost done and we get an inventory now of open frequencies. So if you remember when we did that wireless uh, RF scan we saw the high end of this bank B pretty much open so right here bank 1 0 of 24 frequencies used uh, bank 2 1 of 24 frequencies used so right now we're seeing a lot of open space uh, bank 11 0 of 0 frequencies unused um, so for now I'm just gonna pick this one and go next and it's telling me what do you want to do this nice little blue tab down here is blinking meaning pick me pick me it's called allocate automatically I go ahead and select that
I have to pick my receiver. And it then drops what I selected in that previous menu into here. And I can hit finish. My setup is now finished. Now you'll notice though, my screen turned red. That's the case with the EW series wireless. Uh, if there is loss of frequency, overdriving, low battery, or muted, the wireless is then going to uh, say it's not happy by letting you know that the screen has, uh, by let the screen turning red. Simply hold the IR transmitter up to the front here, hit scan, uh, sync, and a few moments later the screen turns dark to its regular color. This handheld now has all the information that we put into here, the new name, uh, if it has some built-in EQing, uh, whatever else information we wanted, maybe all the buttons are locked out, and you know what? you're ready to perform. So I thank you for your time watching this video today and visiting Northern Sound and Light. We're always grateful to have you as a customer. Always feel free to look at our SennheiserUSA.com website and I thank you. Have a great day.